Good afternoon, MPH community. It's Friday, January 14th, and the end of our 15th week of the school year. All things considered, it was an excellent week for MPH. Of course, we needed to throw in a little wrinkle, and so we had a snow day, uh, but we're pretty good about uh, accommodating and adjusting to, uh, to those changes when we need to. Um, you'll see in the written part of this communication that um, our uh, commitment to community-wide testing has stayed in place. Uh, we processed uh, over, uh, over 400 tests uh, this week. Uh, we've got the results back from Monday's testing, but we're still waiting on Wednesday, Thursday, and Fridays. Uh, so you'll, you'll, be, um, you'll be given an update as soon as uh, we know what the results of those tests are. And uh, again, thank you for being attentive to uh, a lot of communications coming out uh, from the school. Uh, the, the one uh, change for next year is that we're going to return to our original policy with respect to distance learning and the use of the simulcast option. Uh, in the uh, written part of this communication, uh, we've linked what that policy is. So please take a look at that. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think that, that'll be good. Um, I do want to make one comment, um, and it has to do with um, you know everything being a little harder. Everything takes a little longer uh, since the pandemic started. I'm sure I know I'm not alone in feeling this way. Uh, and um, had some time to uh, to uh, communicate with my colleagues about the importance of self-care and really encourage them to think about uh, setting reasonable and healthy standards or goals for themselves and for all of us to manage expectations in a healthy and um, I think appropriate way. And so uh, I, I mentioned this to our families. Um, as you know, I've got the highest regard for my colleagues here. Um, I, I feel honored to be part of this group. We've got people who are deeply committed to education and working with, with our students. Uh, I think sometimes it's helpful for us to, uh, to put some guardrails around what, uh, what the expectations really should look like. So I don't think we're going to lower any of our sort of uh, school standards in any significant way, but I do want uh, all of us to understand that it's not only okay, but it's important that we take good care of our own health and that we're uh, able to be, you know, good, uh, good parents, good, uh, good brothers and uh, sisters, uh, children of uh, parents as we take care of maybe some of our, uh, our parents and our grandparents. Uh, it's just something that, uh, again, I think uh, MPH has been really uh, pretty good in this area. And um, this is a good time just to remind us of the importance of uh, taking good care of ourselves first and foremost so that we can be um, and we can be good in, in other ways. So with that, um, I wish you a restful, healthy, and enjoyable uh, long holiday weekend. I know the Bills and the Patriots are playing. I won't, I'm not going to tell you who I'm rooting for. Uh, but uh, anyway, I hope you stay warm as well. It's going to be a cold one. And I'll see you on Tuesday. Thanks.